I don't think it's going to fit. This is a new sculpture I've been working on. It's called Tiny Test. And now that I've got the whole sculpture you know, basically tacked together, so now I have to go inside here and weld all these joints inside, outside, all the way around. And that's just not going to fit. <laughs> Show us. Sure it'll fit. Oh, Come on. Yeah, I know. Just shove it harder. It'll fit. You know, beat on it. So you can get into this joint okay. But when you come over into here, and now you want to wrap around this way, you know, to try and reach down inside. So I can get rid of the end cap. You know, I can go to the medium length, or I can go to the short length. Is that your welding tackle box, Kevin? No, it's basically my tackle box, yeah. <laughs> so you see, so this is the back cap on the TIG torch. So this is the long back cap. This one is the medium length. You see, just a little bit shorter. Oh. And then you have the short one. So even if I take this off and put this little short guy on, but that's still a pretty good horse. You know, that's still a pretty good size right there for trying to get down in here and maneuver around. You know, to be fighting with it down inside there to try to be able to fill it and see where your torch is and be able to move it around and what have you. You know, you can go to a shorter uh, cup on it like a little stubby gas lens, but this is not the right size to fit this torch. So you know, I'd have to get this model, but to fit this guy, more room in the tackle box. <laughs> or we could go to a whole different torch. So I found this little bad boy over at uh, TigDepot.net, and it's from the good guys over at CK Torches. And you won't believe how tiny this guy is. Wow. Oh no, that isn't that amazing. It's like a water pick. Yeah, it's point just about. Yeah, you, you could do some serious damage with that. And it's got three different heads for it. So you see, it's got a, it's got a straight end. It's got a 90 degree end, and then it's got the 45 degree end on it. And then it comes with the little Pyrex cups, so you can look through them, so you can see what you're doing down in there, really, really close. And it also has. The tiniest, tiniest little alumina cup that I think I've ever seen before. You know, so in case you just want to put you know, the solid cup on there rather than the glass cup. These are a lot more shock resistant. So if you bump it, you know, these will last a heck of a lot longer than the glass Pyrex will. You know, they're just glass. They will break. So this is going to help a whole lot over here as far as being able to get down inside and you know, have room to move around. You can get in there and run some of these joints without having you know, all that bulk of the, of the bigger torch in the way. So You gonna show us? Yeah, yeah. Let, let me hook it up to the machine. We'll light it up. Okay, so we got the torch all hooked up on the, uh, the Everlast Power TIG 255 over there. And uh, about 105 amps set on the panel. And I'll just be running it off of the foot pedal so I can get whatever I want up to 105 amps. And then about uh, 15 CFH, I think it is, on the, on the uh, flow meter. So let's le reach inside, spark one up, and see what we get. So that's going to make my job a whole lot easier be able to get down inside there on a joint, you know, and start all the way over as far as I can see around it, and be able to work around to the other side of the joint just by twisting the torch around, rather than trying to take the moose in there and, and do it that way. So, a micro torch from CK. Now I get to play. <laughs> we'll see you later.